Hey, I'm Jan de Nieuwlaar. I'm going to give you three tips to improve your corner speed on a cyclocross bike. Woo! And... Het miracle van Essen. Ja, maar hij gaat er wel doorheen. Hij gaat er wel doorheen. Wat tekent hij? Oi, 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 oi. To master the basics, we have to start really basic. The best way is to make one single U-turn and make sure it's very clear and visible. So here we have tip number one. Make sure your outside foot is all the way down. That sounds easy and most people do it, but I also see a lot of people who think they do it. So the best way is to think about this for a month. After a while it starts to get a habit and that's what we want to reach. It only becomes a big advantage if we set our weight on our pedal. Why is that? Our weight on the outside pedal forces the bike to follow the corner instead of breaking out of it. It's almost like standing on your pedal but keep contact with your saddle to be more stable. The next tip, tip number two, use your eyes. If you look too close in front of you, you will be very unstable. But if you look far enough, your bike will follow easily. Like many say, you go where you look at. In the beginning, it's not easy to look further. It can help to just keep your head up instead of riding with your head down. And now the most important tip, tip number three, the perfect line. We come in as much as possible on the outside of the corner. After that we ride as close as possible to the cone inside. And to get out of the corner we go again as much as possible to the outside cone. If you now think this is easy and you already do this, think about this every corner on your next training. I see a bunch of mistakes on this one. Yet it's so obvious, but in the field I see other things. Always ask yourself if it was possible to tackle this corner a little faster or not. For this video I will give you three common mistakes I see a lot. Not coming in and out of the corner at the outside. So don't leave any space between you and the outside of the track. The second thing is cornering too far away from the inside. That's like making your course even longer. The third most common mistake is cutting off the first part of the corner. Thereafter coming in too sharp which forces us to break out of the second part of the corner. That makes the second part too tight so we need to break and lose our speed. It would be cool if we all try these three tips for our next rides. Even if we are a beginner or a high level rider. We all make mistakes on this one. I question myself all the time if there is no line that could be better and faster. So I hope this was a little bit clear. If you have questions or opinions you can always leave a comment. Have fun on your next bike rides and don't hesitate to subscribe for more videos like this.